During the Rainbow Covenant Ministries May 12, 2024 Sunday service, Senior Evangelist Terrence was moving through the prayer line, ministering prayer for healing and deliverance to the prayer line queue, when he encountered this young man who was possessed by a violent demon, which had turned him into a dreaded agent of destruction and public enemy since childhood. As Senior Evangelist Terrence came close to the guy, he began exhibiting signs of uneasiness as the demon in him couldn't withstand the presence of Holy Spirit. Seconds later, his temper flares up as he subsequently began summoning his evil powers and gearing up for a spiritual battle against Senior Evangelist Terrence. At this moment, his motive became very clear to everyone. Unlike others, he came to the solution ground with a mission to destroy Senior Evangelist Terrence, and he was bent on accomplishing his mission. But God's end-time warrior, Senior Evangelist Terrence, confidently stood his grounds in Believer's authority as he looked at the demon-possessed guy who identified himself as 6ix9ine and tells him he would be defeated and casted out in the name of Jesus. As the Spirit leads, Senior Evangelist Terrence threw a powerful punch born of the Spirit, which brought the demon-possessed guy down like a puppet. Demons are powerless and like a paper tiger before every true servant of God. For the battle between light and darkness is not a personal challenge, but one against Christ Jesus. And all authority in heaven and on earth has been vested in the name Jesus. Hence, at the mention of that name, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess. What happened next will shock you. As the demon-possessed guy charged forward in an attempt to attack senior evangelist Terrence, boom, he met his Waterloo as he was quickly neutralized by a mighty spiritual punch from God's general. Watch Senior Evangelist Terrence as he exercised the dominion power of Jesus Christ over demons. Huh? <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> hey! She! <laughs> ha ha ha! Ha! Let us give you us. Ha! You be what? I'm not 69. You be 69! 69! The battle between light and darkness is not a person. We are just We are one with Jesus. Your back will go down today. We are just going to go down. 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 The strength of the punch that brought the demon-possessed guy down was beyond human understanding. This can only come from God. Say, nine, come here. You are powerless in the face of Jesus. Move. Move. What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Six nine. Six nine. Six nine. You are Jesus Christ has given us authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy because the one who is in us is greater than the one who is in the world. Who can battle against the Lord? Nobody. Demons are powerless and mere paper tigers in the face of God. Six nine. What is six nine? What is this for your score? They're calling six nine. Nine years in prison. You spend nine years in prison. Nine years. You say half bar. Where is the bar? You get juice. You get juice. You're scared. You can't manifest it all. Right now. Six nine. You are powerless. With all the display of strength, it was hard to predict that this violent demon will go down this easy. All demons do is to show off in an effort to intimidate and make one doubt his or her position in Christ Jesus. But the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits to showcase the power and might of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So this is a thing God has not anointed you and it's not bad. You know what they are going to be here? Eh? They will not destroy me. The next thing I trust my people, it will be the dog in the town. We will just, uh, we, will, we will help to distribute it. This one, I cannot distribute it because it's not sweet. Six 
After the demon was casted out, he fell to the ground and slept off like a baby, unconscious of his environment. When he woke up and realized he was sleeping on the ground after his deliverance, he took off to the nearby bush to hide himself. Apparently, he wasn't aware of the things that transpired during the deliverance session. Like Ephesians 6.12 says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. He said, this 6-9 on my forehead was tatted a long time ago after I was initiated into a cult. During the deliverance session, Nelson revealed deep secrets as the evil spirit spoke through him. You say you destroyed. Confessing all the evil things it has done using him. Now tell me. Now you tell me. Yes. These were deep secrets that Nelson has never shared with anyone. Hence, he was shocked that senior evangelist Terence knew these secrets. You know, I'm an eternal man. But you tell me now. I'm sure. Jesus can be God. Jesus can be God. I don't know God. God loves you. God loves you. After casting out the demon from Nelson, senior evangelist Terence gave him words of advice to position him on the path of salvation. Like the Bible says in Matthew chapter 12, verse 43 to 45, when an unclean spirit goes out of a man, he goes through dry places, seeking rest and finds none. Then he says, I will return to my house from which I came. And when he comes, he finds it empty, swept and put in order. Then he goes and takes with him seven other spirits more wicked than himself and they enter and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Senior evangelist Terence tells him, God loves you, do not go back to your past. These things, they don't tell people. And uh, please, let, let him draw more closer, eh? Let him take him to the counseling, let him draw more, he's my friend. In John 8, verse 36, Jesus Christ said, if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Glory be to Jesus. If you see what I'm looking at, you you will blow courage. You want to blow what? Huh? <laughs> you need to see what I'm looking at. What I'm looking at when I'm moving around around you. When I'm now, when I'm when at the prayer line, when I'm moving, I will see scorpion, snake in the life of people. Some python, tiger, scorpion, snake, and you want me not to do like this. <laughs> Assume Jesus permit me, I will remove my dress. <laughs> I will fight. Prophet T.B. Joshua has been called to eternal glory, but his legacy of soul winning, prophecy, healing, deliverance and love lives on as his disciples around the world are doing even greater things in the name of Jesus. Senior evangelist Terence of the Rainbow Covenant Ministry happens to be one of the vibrant disciples of senior prophet T.B. Joshua who picked up his precious mantle and God has been using him to do more marvelous thing for the advancement of his kingdom. As you can see, the queue is very long as people have come from far and wide to the solution ground 
believing that Jesus Christ in his infinite mercy will use his humble servant, senior evangelist Terrence, to turn their stories around for the glory of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My dear people of God, there's no sickness Jesus Christ cannot heal and no situation that Jesus Christ cannot change. So what is that situation that has turned you into a man or woman of sorrow? Jesus Christ said, Come unto me, all you that are heavily laden, and I will give you rest. Distance is not a barrier. Just connect by faith in Jesus Christ will turn your sorrow into laughter for the salvation of your soul in Jesus' name. As you watch these mind-blowing miracles, we pray that your situation will not escape the anointing of God. Just call or WhatsApp us for prayers and counseling to be a partaker of this divine blessing flowing at the solution ground. Remember, delay is dangerous as the mission of the devil is to kill, steal, and destroy your life. Distance is not a barrier. Call or WhatsApp us anytime for prayers and counseling.